Oh, hi. Look who it is. Hi, Kareem. How are you today? Oh, fancy seeing you here. I know. Oh, what, what a coincidence. What a coincidence that I had the your camera. camera looks, uh, yeah, awkwardly uh, like mine. <laughs> coincidence. Yeah. Okay, it's lunchtime here on uh, Tuesday the 22nd of November at Occupy London. It's been five weeks since they started on the 15th of October. And um, I don't have very much to say except that I think we need to start approaching this uh, problem of um, control and politics and economy from a personal, more spiritual level by looking into our... Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't do this. <laughs> oh, it's like I just feel like a fucking... Weird talker. It is difficult becoming a hippie, yeah. So, yeah. Will you come and follow me, please? I'll carry your bag. And I just want to see what the police are doing. Inspector Excuse me. I'm on a spiritual quest to hug a policeman. We're on camera. So I've got that there, so if you can move in your arms, I'll really let you to move that. No, I'm not going to touch you with my hand, it's just my chest against yours. So that is why? Because, it's, because there's all this fear of the police. There's all this fear of the police. There's no fear. We're all good friends. No, not with you guys, but other people. And it looks nice. I should, I should do something somewhat cinematic now, right? Yeah, something dramatic. Hi, sir. <laughs> okay, huh? Find one, find one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get this man arrested immediately, you terrible criminal, you. <laughs> no, I'm not, no, no, I'm not toying around. No, but what if we have, we become friends? We could become friends. He could, yeah, he does. He does want to be my friend. Oh, my balls. Oh. I'm training being comfortable around policemen. Would oh, you mind hello. if I chat to you for a second? Well, it's all right. Well, um, I'm really just walking around at the moment, but we're back, though. We're back. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're training to be comfortable around policemen. <laughs> the honesty is the best policy, isn't it? Doing now, we're co we've come to the kind of marquee entrance at Paternoster Square, and uh, there's no police here just now, but there's private security, and their job is to keep people like us out. So what I want to do is smile and create this nice spiritual rapport with him, and maybe just very slowly ease my way forward and say, "Look, when will your brotherhood kick in, and when will you stop obeying the rules, and at what point is there?" I want to find that very, very definite point where. They stop being human and start obeying orders. If you know what I mean, like I want to. Let's go, I think we should find that point, and that's what I want to do. Let's go find the point. But as I'm, as I've said, I'm going to keep it so peaceful and so kind of like what's the word zen. It's going to be very zen. And let's see how, how good it feels. Yeah, let's go. This is okay to film. He's obeying me. But what it is, what it is, like if we go I'm, in together. I'm really busy at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So go ahead. No, but can I? Can come back the same way? Tell you what, I'll come in and she stays out. Because I'm no, not. You can't even come in. Why, why can't I come in? 
Go I've got my. Where's my pass? Sir, can I borrow a pass off someone? I just need to get past security. Go Anyway, what is your name? Thank you. Um, for, um, um, family guy. Family guy. <laughs> Peter Griffin. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. 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 So let's let's go in. Come on, let's go in. Well, you you, you can't <laughs> seriously. No. Come with me. No. I'll go no. very slowly. I'll go very slowly. Uh, very uh, slowly. <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> Do they tell you not to let me in? Is that what happens? Not only you. Not only me. But if, if you weren't here working for Paternoster Square, would you let me in? No question. No question about it. Actually, should we go to the Paternoster shop house? But you have to be escorted there. Huh? You have to be escorted to it. Escorted to it? Okay. Tell you what. Just because. There you go. For, for the, our spiritual message, I literally want to walk just to the end of there. On <laughs> water as well. But just to see if I'm... Um, no, sorry, you have to go around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I need some food from Sainsbury's. Are you Sainsbury's? Sainsbury's, yeah. Can I get Sainsbury's? I'll be, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. She stays here. She stays here. <laughs> Thanks, man. Cheers. Go. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. I've changed my mind. Thank you. That's all. Humanity is one. You listen. might want to go next no. to the shepherd. That's very spiritual. No, no. He's done a good thing, and that's all I needed. Thanks, man. That's all we need. Hey, Peter trip. Griffin. Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as a final thing. Which one? And I... Yeah. I need to give you a hug just to say No, no, no. <laughs> There's nothing like man love. <laughs> Big care of And that goes to show that without confrontation or ego battle, you can walk past security. There you go. Spiritual lesson for us all. Well, you should have said that before commencing your whatever. I'm not going to do anything bad, you know. But it's this thing. I want to explore the, um, the boundaries between you as a human being, like a normal man, and you as an employee of the security. That's the coming for me. <laughs> Who's coming for me? Well, the police. Did you call the police on me? Yeah, I did. Oh, man. That's not nice. You wouldn't do that to your friends. Oh, well. Anyway, I feel sad. Oh. I think it's because you're too tall and big to want to yeah. come and hug people. I'm threatening. No, but we're in public area. Would you give me a hug? Because I'm smaller and, and not her a hug. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. Everyone wants a hug. You want a hug, don't you? Come here. Come here. I want a hug. Thank you. You sure you want to stick around to this? Yeah, because it's um, it'll be good conversation to see what they're. If you just do everything so calmly, it, it, it gets quite surreal. <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course. Excellent. May I take a photograph of you? Yeah. I'm, I'm fully on with this. I, I think it's horrendous. There's a nuns that have set themselves on fire because of the violence. So I signed the Avas petition, but that's pretty much all I can do. Oh, that's wonderful. This is even better than the Cool. Thank you very much. For My pleasure. See, that's a good message to have from this. This, this is even more important than... These, these, these guys hold the world's spirituality in their hands and we're about to just... That's why we. That's why we came down to try and create some solidarity between the principles and values which are being fought for here, which are reflected obviously by Tibetans in a, a much more trying and horrific sense inside occupied Tibet. So I think it's important to reach out and make a connection with occupied yeah. movements. How, how are you um, involved with Tibet? I'm, I'm, I'm one of the people who works with Tibet Truth. It's a kind of international network of people based in different countries. Okay. And the central message is basically to support the Tibetan people themselves and their cause for independence. And so we're just trying to reach out and make connections yeah. with people.
Well, I'm attempting to become a Buddhist, so I'm fully on board with this. Okay. Yes, it's very hard. Yeah, well, it will be, it will be extremely hard. <laughs> the, the first bit is actually just horrible, where you find out all these disgusting things about yourself, and you're like, wow, I thought I was a good person. Uh, well, you are a good person. Yes. Uh, and you're on, the, you're, on the, you're on the road, and you're yes. making your steps, so yes. that's the most important thing. It's just a difficult path. Thing, isn't it? Yes. Well, best of luck with it. I'm 100% behind it. Thank you. That's very kind. That's very kind. Thank you very much indeed. I'll, I'll put it in the video on YouTube. I'm about 10 people watching. But <laughs> I know oh, sorry, Charlie Beach could job. put it on his thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do something good for the world. Okay, so just 10 seconds. Why should we support the people of Occupy Tibet? Because the people have suffered over 61 years of violent oppression, their culture, their freedom, their language, their traditions are being violently denied by China. Thank you very much. And they're one of the most peaceful people on the planet. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Don't push it, man. <laughs> Okay, our work here is done.